In a deserted town, Lee Abbott, his wife Evelyn, and their children Reagan, Marcus, and Beau are scavenging a supermarket for supplies. Evelyn quietly gets some medicine for Marcus, while Lee looks for some supplies for his radio. Reagan watches as Beau draws a rocket on the floor. Consequently, he reaches for a toy rocket, but it slips. Reagan catches it before it hits the floor. Lee signals for everyone to get moving as it will be dark soon. The family halts when Bo approaches them, wielding the toy rocket. Lee quietly removes the rocket's batteries, telling Bo that he cannot have the toy due to the noise it makes when lit up. Everyone walks out of the store, leaving Reagan and Bo. Seeing how sad her brother is, Reagan gives him the toy and leaves the batteries. However, when Reagan leaves the store, Bo grabs the batteries. The family makes its way home along a sand path to avoid accidental noise. Lee leads the group past the bridge near their house when he hears the rocket turning on. He runs towards his son while something in the woods also rushes towards Bo. Unfortunately, a monstrous alien reaches Bo first and kills him while the rest of the family watches in horror. It is revealed that those alien creatures have taken over the planet and eliminated most of the human world. The aliens are blind but have enhanced hearing that helps them locate and eliminate their target, including animals. They are super fast and can reach a target seconds after hearing a noise. Lee has been researching the aliens, trying to find their weakness to no avail. He tries to reach other countries' frequencies for help, but discovers the aliens have invaded almost everywhere. He has erected numerous light bulbs around the house with an extra setting to turn red when danger lurks by. So far, he knows that three aliens are around his compound and have an impenetrable armor that makes them hard to kill. The family tries their best to be quiet and survive. Luckily, they know the American Sign Language as Reagan was born deaf. A year after Bo's death, Lee is no further in his research. Evelyn is pregnant, so she prepares herself for delivery. Marco spends his time in a car, wondering what it would be like to drive, while Reagan isolates herself as she blames herself for Bo's death. While having dinner, the family says grace and then plays some games. They also spend some time soundproofing a room in anticipation of the baby's coming. One day, Reagan is playing with Marco when she accidentally knocks over a lamp, making a loud noise. Lee quickly puts out the fire and asks the family to stay quiet as they hear monstrous clanging outside. Luckily, two fat raccoons critter nearby, causing the alien to go after them and leave the family alone. Despite the harsh conditions, Evelyn and Lee find ways to keep their marriage alive, like by dancing to music on earphones. Evelyn checks her vitals daily to monitor her baby's health, as it is due in two weeks. One day, Reagan walks into the main house, intending to get into Lee's workspace in the basement. However, Lee grabs her before she can descend the stairs. Reagan furiously retorts that she knows not to make a sound, but Lee warns her that they should be extra careful. A short while later, Lee calls Marco as he intends to take him out fishing. Marco is scared of being out in the open, but Evelyn encourages him to learn a few skills so he can take care of her when she gets old. Reagan also wants to go, but Lee asks her to stay behind and help her mother. Lee reaches the river where he has set a trap to catch fish. He grabs one fish and is about to smash its head, but he stops when Marco tries to run away. Lee takes Marco to a waterfall, explaining that so long as there is a louder noise nearby, it's safe to speak as the aliens cannot distinguish the sounds. Father and son have incredible moments screaming, knowing the aliens cannot hear them. Marco asks Lee if he blames Reagan for Bo's death. Lee says it was an accident, so Marco asks him to tell Reagan that, as she feels unloved and blames herself for the accident. Meanwhile, Evelyn goes to the basement to do laundry and Reagan goes to her room. On the bed, she finds her cochlear implant and puts it on. The implant works wonderfully as Evelyn perceives sound better than before. Reagan cries and retrieves a rocket toy, putting it in her bag and leaving the house. She reaches the bridge where a small monument has been erected for Bo. She cuts the rocket's wires and turns it on soundlessly. In the house, Evelyn accidentally uncovers a nail on the basement stairs with her laundry. She visits Bo's room and cries as she remembers her son. Suddenly, her water breaks, so she goes to the basement. Unfortunately, she steps on the uncovered nail and wails in pain, the shock causing her to drop a glass picture frame that breaks with a loud noise. Evelyn successfully frees her foot and hurries to hide before the alien enters the house. She noiselessly switches on the red lights, alerting Lee and the kids of the situation while dealing with labor pains. The alien enters the basement and starts looking for Evelyn, but the woman bravely bears her pain soundlessly. 
Lee sees the red lights and runs to help Evelyn. Luckily, Evelyn has set a timer that goes off and distracts the alien, allowing her to exit the basement. She rushes into the bathroom as she feels the baby coming. Meanwhile, Lee instructs Marco to set off some rockets in the distance, as the noise will draw the aliens away from the house. Marco is scared, but Lee encourages him to stand up and help his mother. He sets off the fireworks, luring the alien away. Reagan sees the fireworks and suspects something is wrong, so she starts running back home. Lee enters the house but finds his wife missing and the bathtub bloody. He collapses to the floor in despair, but Evelyn is in the other room with their newborn son. He carries them into the soundproofed room, hurrying as the baby starts crying. He places Evelyn on a bed to rest, and the baby goes into a wooden box to muffle its sounds. Evelyn asks for the other children's whereabouts, so Lee goes to find them. Marco is returning home when he senses movement behind him. Scared, he turns and runs into the cornfields, making great noise. Luckily, Marco slams into a tractor and passes out, so the alien misses him. Reagan is nearly home when she notices the cornfield path and Marco's torch. She investigates and reunites with Marco. The two wait for Lee to get them on top of a grain silo, but Reagan fears that he might leave them for dead. Lee locates the children via the many cameras he has installed around the compound. Unfortunately for Evelyn, she is woken by the sound of flowing water as a pipe has leaked and flooded the room. The baby's coos attract the creature, but Evelyn bravely walks towards the box cot while the alien dives into the water. She approaches the baby just as the creature emerges next to the cot. Evelyn and the baby hide behind a small waterfall whose noise momentarily fools the creature. Marco is telling Reagan that Lee loves her when he falls into the silo. Marco starts drowning, so Reagan follows him with the silo's door. Marco holds onto the door, but Reagan sinks. He desperately tries to pull her up, but cannot find her. Luckily, he grabs her hand and pulls her up on the door. The noise attracts the aliens, and he jumps into the silo with them. Reagan's implant emits a high-pitched noise, which causes the alien to retreat in agony. Evelyn takes the baby to the basement and watches the events in the field transpire. She is elated when Lee reunites with the children. Unfortunately, the alien is still lurking around, so Lee tells the children to hide in a nearby truck. Instead of hiding with them, Lee grabs an axe to attack the alien. The alien quickly throws the axe away and injures Lee. The alien's proximity affects Reagan's implant, so she turns it off as the high-pitched noise hurts her ears. The alien advances towards the truck, realizing the kids are inside. It starts pushing and stabbing the truck with its legs to get the children. Desperate to save his children, Lee gets up. He grabs the axe and then signs to Reagan that he has always loved her. He screams, attracting the alien towards him, and his family watches him get devoured. The kids drive home and reunite with Evelyn. Evelyn introduces them to their brother, but the news is celebrated silently, knowing the alien is nearby. Evelyn gives Marco the baby and hides him in one corner while Reagan takes in the work her father had been doing. She finds a bunch of cochlear implants as Lee had been working on modifying them to be better. She cries silently as Evelyn comforts her. Evelyn grabs a rifle, determined to save her family at all costs. The alien enters the room, drawn in by the baby's cooing. It disrupts the electronics in the room and the static affects it, so it destroys them. It inches forward slowly, backing Evelyn and Reagan into a corner. Reagan figures things out and turns on the implant. The sound causes great agony to the creature and it falls. Reagan turns off the implant, thinking it's over, but the alien wakes up and approaches them again. Reagan turns on the implant and connects it to the microphone, causing the creature's face to unravel. Evelyn shoots in the open face and the creature dies. The noise attracts the other two aliens and the duo watches them approaching via the security cameras. Evelyn cocks her gun, ready to defend her family, while Reagan prepares her new weapon. Do leave a comment telling us your favorite part of the movie. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time, folks, take care and goodbye.